One of the promises of additive manufacturing is the chance to store parts as digital inventory, as data rather than physical components. With a digital inventory, you're no longer pulling physical parts out of bins or off of shelves. Instead, you are pulling part files from a storage system and 3D printing them on demand. But how do you actually set up, manage, and maintain a digital inventory? I'm Stephanie Hendrickson with Additive Manufacturing Media. I'm here at IMTS 2024 with the Worth Additive Group, a company that is figuring out how to do this both for their own products and those of external customers. Worth Additive Group is part of industrial supplies distributor Worth Group, and they've developed something called Digital Inventory Service, or DIS, a platform that enables the 3D printing of parts on demand. It's a combination of hardware and software that allows for storing, managing, and securely sending part file data so that it can be manufactured in various locations as it's needed. Here's how it works. Part designs are created or converted for 3D printing and stored in the owner's inventory library. Along with that part file, the actual geometry of the part, is all the information that's needed to manufacture it reliably. When the part is needed, the user can pull that file, send it to a printer that has the right material. Uh, that printer might be located at a Worth facility, at a supplier, or it might be part of their own fleet. There might be a licensing fee involved. So for instance, an auto repair shop that needs to print a part for repair um, might be paying a fee to the original automaker uh, for the use of that component. The job goes into the printer queue and then is securely transmitted to the 3D printer through an IoT Edge device. The part's printed and then the operator is guided through all of the necessary subsequent steps, whether that's post-processing, cleaning, any testing or other activities that might be needed to validate or verify that part before it goes into use. So implementing the digital inventory requires a lot of setup and prep work. You need to digitize the parts that you want to make this way, ideally well in advance of the moment that you actually need to print them. And you also need to account for all the steps in the workflow so that the same part can be reliably reproduced, whether it's the next year, um, made by a different operator, or made in a different location, which is why Worth's DIS platform tries to account for all of the different variables, all of the different steps that might be involved. Since launching DIS earlier this year, Worth Additive Group has digitized over 5,000 parts. Here's one example. This adapter is part of the MRO crib for an airline. Um, it allows for the wands that the flight crew uses to signal to pilots to be operated from a AA battery rather than a D battery. That means the wands are lighter, more ergonomic, and they can be used even if those D batteries are out of stock. This is not a component that is ordered in mass or needed on an ongoing basis, so Worth digitized the file and now the customer can order these parts, have them 3D printed and delivered just as they need them. Some other digital inventory components include this epoxy nozzle and adapter, uh, these brackets for holding safety flags, another airline application, as well as various hand tools, jigs, fixtures, all kinds of manufacturing aids, fasteners, and many other industrial products. For an industrial supply company like Worth, digital inventory allows them to be more responsive to their customers, to support more SKUs without taking up valuable shelf space, and over time could allow them to reduce waste and maybe even the physical footprint of their warehouses. For companies that want to use a digital inventory strategy like DIS internally, it also offers the chance to more easily support a product throughout its entire life cycle, as well as the ability to capture and translate um, additive manufacturing expertise around a facility, across a country, or even around the world. If you want to learn more about Worth Additive Group, we'll include links to our full-length stories about the company in the show description. And if you're interested in more stories about digital inventory and the future of additive manufacturing, follow Additive Manufacturing Media wherever you're watching right now.